It's done? Yes. It won't hold up forever, but it will hold up for now. Thank you, Benjamin. I, I didn't expect it for a couple of hours. I, I haven't had a chance to get you any bacon. Well, that's quite all right, Michael. This one is on the house. You know, you never asked if what they're saying about me is true. I didn't need to. I knew it was true the second I heard it. I don't understand. All these kids who went to Harvard, they never gave me the time of day. All they cared about was letting me know where they went to school and I didn't. You've never done that to me. Not one time. I, I, I don't know what to say. Say that when you're done and you've beaten this thing, you won't start acting like some asshole who went to Harvard. I mean, can't really promise you that, Benjamin. I'll have gone to Harvard. That's not funny, Michael. Is the prosecution ready to call its next witness? The prosecution calls Rachel Zane. Objection. Your Honor, the witness cannot object to testifying simply because she intends to take the fifth. The witness doesn't have to testify because she's my wife. What? I have a marriage certificate here from the state of Nevada showing that the witness and I were married in Las Vegas six weeks after we started dating. Both of you up here now. Where the hell did you get that? What do you mean? You didn't marry her and you know it. Well, why do I have everything I need proving I did? Because you did some bullshit to get out of this. Oh, look who's crying about it now. Keep your voices down. You think this is a joke? You try this in court, Gibbs is gonna prove you're not married, and Rachel's gonna go to jail for perjury. He's right. You better know what the hell you're doing. Who said that I was gonna use this in the real trial? I get it. This is a fake, just like you. I said keep your goddamn voice This down. is as real as that affidavit was, okay? Now, you wanted to rattle me, I've rattled you. What are you gonna do about it? Prosecution calls Rachel Zane to the stand. Objection, we just went over this. When spousal privilege is invoked in the moment, prosecution has the right to challenge the validity of the marriage. This is ridiculous. Objection overruled. Ms. Zane, take the stand. We can skip swearing her in since she's just gonna lie about it anyway. Objection. Ms. Zane, if you got married six weeks after dating the defendant, why are you engaged to him right now? Because we did it on a whim. And we'd planned to have an annulment, but once we fell more in love, we thought that it might be wonderful to reveal it to our families after we were married again. And how exactly did it go when you got married the first time? We were in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit where you were. What color was your dress? What color was the cake? Objection. Who was there? Were there any witnesses? Your Honor, he's Who badgering were the her. Come on. And what goddamn Honor, time was it? Harvey, Tell me right let now. let the witness answer. The dress was white. And the cake was vanilla with a buttercream frosting. It was a small ceremony at around 10 p.m. And I remember the man who married us like it was yesterday because it was the most special day of my life. And when you came up with this story, did Mr. Ross at least give you the courtesy of letting you make up your own memories of your supposedly sacred day? Objection! Since if he represents himself at trial, you won't have a real wedding for at least two to five years. Harvey. And I've got one more question. Did you vow to remain faithful to Mr. Ross throughout your marriage? Yes, I did. Yeah, then I guess when you cheated on him with Logan Sanders, it means you lied to him at that non-existent ceremony just like you're lying to all of us right now. That's enough. If you want to bring more outside information to dispute this marriage, feel free, but for right now, this witness is excused. 